Well, yes, hello there, and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, the show here on the Theme Park Worldwide YouTube channel. This week, we're going to be looking at the new additions coming to UK theme parks throughout 2015. We're also going to be looking at some questions what have been sent in to me here on the show, along with launching yet another brand new section. Yes, of course, my name's Sean Sandbrook, this is Theme Park Worldwide, the show, and that means it's time to cue those titles. And of course, a very warm welcome to the second episode of the series of the show. Again, it's great to be back. Really enjoyed the first episode last week. Over 2,000 of you have watched it, and I'm really glad you enjoyed the first episode of the series. As I said there in last week's show, it really is going to be a cracking year this year um, for the channel. We've got loads of new stuff coming, mainly from throughout Europe. Uh, well, that does mean, of course, we're going to be having lots of stuff throughout the year as well. Um, but as I'm going to tell you in a moment throughout our news, um, you're going to actually see how there's still quite a few things coming to the UK, and uh, UK theme parks and attractions, and how we're going to be visiting them too on the channel. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's kick straight in with our second episode of the series so far. start off talking about a little park what's putting in a brand new investment for this year of course it's Blackpool Pleasure Beach um, now I'm sure as all of you know Blackpool Pleasure Beach they don't put in new attractions a lot of the time and we've not had a thrilling ride for quite some years now obviously we've had some great additions such as Nickelodeon Land and Wallace and Gromit Thrillomatic um, which did replace Goldmine um, but yeah we haven't really had a thrill ride for, for a lot of years going in this year, however, that is changing. Brand new Gerslauer ride, Sky Force. I'm sure you already know about it uh, by now, but for those of you who don't, let's talk about it. Sky Force, um, which is going in, it looks really, really good. Um, it's a 72 foot high attraction. It's going to sit next to the big one where Bling used to be, the old flat ride. And it's actually going to swing you round and round. And as it's going round, in your seat, it's sponsored by the Red Arrows, it's going to sort of give you like a... Uh, the feel that you're, you're spinning upside down like you're in a red arrow, which is going to be really, really good. Um, so yeah, the Pleasure Beach are working in association um, with them to bring this to the park, which is going to be great. Um, it ha does only seat 12 people, so I am slightly concerned about the capacity on it. Not sure how it's going to work there. Um, but I'm sure Pleasure Beach have sorted something out with that. I've heard there's going to be a couple of different pre-shows and pre-show rooms with videos playing uh, and stuff. There's going to be a shop as well, um, selling sort of your special merchandise to the ride. Um, so I'm sure it'll be good. So we'll have to see how it goes. Of course, we're going to be down there. Rumours are suggesting it's going to open in April. Um, so we'll be down there at Pleasure Beach to check it out as soon as it opens. And so yeah, Sky Falls, going to be a good ride. See how many times you can go upside down. There's some crazy videos of these Gerstler rides um, online on YouTube, so check them out. Uh, and yeah, I'm sure it will be a really good addition here in the UK. Moving on to a park a little bit closer to my heart, Alton Towers. A medium year of investment. It's sort of a medium year of investment for all the parks, what I'm talking about at the moment here in the UK. There's nothing large really coming in. Um, but Alton Towers, they are having three brand new things for this year. Of course, you've got the Enchanted Village, 120 fairy tale lodges and five tree houses which are going in. We have got a separate video here on the channel if you've not seen that. Um, but yeah, make sure you do check that out. Um, it shows you how the construction's really coming on down there at Alton Towers. Uh, of course, they're having the Treetop Quest, which is a high ropes course. Going to be a bit like uh, Go Ape. Um, two courses, you've got the Junior Course, which is going to be about five metres off the ground. Then you've got the Higher Course, which is going to be uh, around eight metres off the ground. So quite a good sort of um, height on those. It's actually going to be next to the Alton Towers Hotel, near the Enchanted Village as well, um, just off the car park. So yeah, it's going to be really, really good. Um, looking forward to that. And of course, that's good. the Enchanted Village is opening in April and the Treetop Quest is opening in May. We'll be down there literally as soon as it's opened, checking them out and giving them a review for you here on the show. Um, so that's going to be great. Also, Alton Towers and in CBB's land, you've got the Octonauts roller coaster. It's a Zamperla Juni coaster. And now Zamperla do some really, really good rides. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to seeing how this one looks. It's got some really nice theme. It's got a blue track. It runs one train. It looks like it's going to do two laps. Uh, and Alton Towers has really lacked a, a coaster for the junior kids um, since since the Beastie went a few years ago. Um, so it'd be nice to have that balance back. Looking forward to seeing when it's done. And it's got some really nice theme trains as well, which is cool. Um, fighting back, 
um, this year is Thomas Land at Drayton Manor. Of course, CBeebies Land came in last year. Surely Drayton Manor did have some uh, some impact there with CBeebies opening at Alton Towers. So they're fighting back this year with 40% extra going into Thomas Land. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, three brand new rides, you've got Captain Sea Adventure, uh, Finn's Fire Rescue and Toby's Trout Express. Three new rides going in, Soda Airport building's going in, that's going to um, have a cafe, a top view balcony looking over the whole park which will be lovely. Um, they've also moved Jeremy Jet in front of it uh, along with the other new rides around there as well so that'll be good. There's a fountain going in with a fat controller. Um, as well, so it's going to be a really nice area. I love Thomas Land. I do firmly believe it's one of the best areas um, in the country, especially for the children. But it's a nice all-rounder to go and check out. To be honest, I really do like it. Um, so I look forward to seeing that when it's done at Drayton Manor, and of course, we'll be there throughout the year, which will be great. Finally, then Thorpe Park. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Had to be done um, but yeah they've got this brand new um, attraction going in it's a maze going in it's actually in the building what used to be home to the asylum scare maze and also studio 13 at last year's thought park fright nights and uh, it's going in there it looks really really good and um, what they're doing basically it's open on the 27th of march so sort of a couple of weeks after the park opens on the 12th on Thursday the 12th um, and what they're basically doing it's going to be a walkthrough there's going to be fans there's going to be water there's going to be all sorts in there uh, you're going to be doing bush tucker trials which should be great uh, and basically you're going to compete for, for the stars which you get in the show and take on some of the most inspired games from the show and the iconic ones and um, which should be really really good including some of your famous jungle trials including the celebrity cyclone i love the celebrity cyclone in the show and i think it'll be a really really popular addition actually at thought park of course i'll be down there with some of the guys here on tpw reviewing it and checking it out uh, later in the year some absolutely fantastic things coming up there in the uk following on from last week um, saying what we're going to visit in Europe this year. It's going to be a great year for the channel and theme park worldwide. Um, that's just a little run-up of the four main uh, things that are going on. There's a few other little things going on throughout the, the year. Of course, Shrek is, Shrek is opening down in London um, in County Hall. A few other things going on as well, which we'll be looking at next week. Um, which is really, really good. And also looking into some of the events and stuff that are going to be happening at the parks this year. Um, which should be really, really good as well. Now it's time for a bit of Guess the Coaster. Like a roller coaster Move and shake me side to side Yes, then I know But I'm making me right so yes, it's time to guess the coaster. I know it's only the second uh, episode of the series, but it's already proven to be very, very popular. Um, and your feedback's been great on last week's show, so thank you very much for that. Keep sending your feedback in, and also commenting below. But yes, guess the coaster. What was it last week? It was Oblivion from Alton Towers. Well, hey, those of you that did get it right, there was only a few. A lot of you seem to think it was a swarm at Thorpe Park. You were right by thinking it was a B&M coaster, but it was actually Oblivion from Alton Towers. Um, you can just hear it coming out of the station. As it catches on to the anti-rollbacks on the lift hill, you can just hear the glug, 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 glug. That was a rubbish impression. Um, but yeah, it was just catching on. And in the background, if you turn the volume up on your speakers very loud, you can just hear the doom, 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 doom from Oblivion station audio. Just. Um, but yeah, very well done to those of you that did. Who did get that right? They will be on a leaderboard, um, which will be going onto the show as well. So that's really good. I'll update the leaderboard in a few weeks once we've had a few more in. See how people are getting on. Anyway, it's time for this week's roller coaster sound. Here it is. Five seconds. Guess the coaster. There we go. What was it? Guess the coaster. All you need to do is comment below with your guess to be in with a chance of winning a bumper prize. Probably mid into the season, summer we'll do a big prize and also at the end of the season as well. Um, but yeah, what is that coaster? Do you want to hear it again? Yeah, sure I do. Well, there you go. Here it is again. There we go. A little bit short that time. Um, but yeah, that's your guess the coaster for this week. Make sure you let me know um, by commenting below. And I can't wait to uh, tell you all next week what it was. Make sure, little tip for you, turn your volume up. You might just get a little clue. Yes, it is back for 2015. We had it a little bit last year. We did about four episodes um, while we had this in. And this year, I want to make it bigger and better than ever before with some fun challenges. It's called Challenge Sean, and I hope you love that intro because I think it was quite cool. Um, but yeah, well, I did edit it, but you know. Um, but yeah, it's going to be really, really cool. 
um, this section. I can't wait to share it with you again. I did some crazy challenges last time. I ate five squares bars before riding the Smiler. I did some crazy stuff what you all asked me to do and I'm up for anything. So anything theme park related or something I can do at a theme park which is obviously fine to do and safe for me to do. Uh, and I will try my best to do it for you here in this challenge section of the show. So yeah, challenge Sean, comment below, tweet in at Theme Park WW, or send a private message on the Theme Park Worldwide Facebook page for some challenges for me to do, something fun, something what I'm going to enjoy doing, which I probably won't. <laughs> um, but yeah, make sure you send them in. I'm up for anything, and I'll do this section of the show again um, when, I, when I have some sent in. So yeah, I'm open to suggestions. I'm sure... Well, there's over 14,000 subscribers of you out there. I'm sure out of 14,000 of you, you can come up with something fun for me to do. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to see on that one. <laughs> and that's Challenge Sean. Yes, another new section uh, here on Theme Park Worldwide, the show. I'll have another brand new section starting next week. Questions, questions, questions everywhere. So yes, this section went down really well in the first episode last week. I'm looking forward to some more questions this week. I've got four more questions you've sent in. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Corey Roberts asked, um, if Port Ventura said you could create any roller coaster you wanted for them, but you had to replace Shambhala, would you? Um, no, because I don't think I've got the knowledge to actually create a roller coaster better than Shambhala. I love that thing. I've loved it since it opened in 2012, and I'll continue loving that ride. I absolutely adore it. And I don't. I think it will take some time before something comes along and beats it. So thanks for that. Long time lover of theme park worldwide, Jenny Cousins was sent in. If you were to create a roller coaster at Thorpe Park, what would you call it and why? It would be a hyper coaster from B&M, of course. Um, and what would I call it? It all depends on the theme. I do really like the whole sort of Calypso Key theme. Um, so I'd probably have it stationed by Nemesis Inferno, running around the whole back of the park. I don't know, what would I call it? Volcanic Eruption or something like that. That sounds something like what you find in Roller Coaster Tycoon, doesn't it? I think that was, comment below, I'm pretty sure that was a roller coaster in Roller Coaster Tycoon, Volcanic Eruption. I think it was one of them LIM launch coasters or something, so. Thanks for that there. <laughs> um, Mark Virgo has said, what's the scariest experience you've ever had at a theme park? Ooh, scariest experience. Well, I don't really get scared on rides, I'll be honest. Um, I don't like flying coasters, as you all know. Um, yeah, I really don't like flying coasters. And a scary experience for me was being trapped on a flying coaster on the brake run for about 30 minutes after it broke down. I really just don't like being trapped in on them. As much as I've been on over 400 coasters, I just don't like flying coasters the way I'm trapped in. The chest pads, it all really squeezes in really tightly on the body sounds a bit um, but yeah and it's just a bit too bit too much for me and being in that position it's not like we're on the lifter where you've sort of at that angle facing the floor concrete floor underneath it, it wasn't very nice to be honest um, so yeah that's probably the worst experience I've ever had at a park final question then is from Reese Langham apart from theme parks what are your other interests collecting mugs <laughs> um, other interests I'm actually heavily into uh, DJ and discos I used to do them quite a bit I'm getting back into them now with Alex who you might recognise from the vlogs um, so yeah that's, that's going to be quite cool to get back into hello Alex if you are watching out there <laughs> um, but yeah it definitely discos and stuff I really do like that that's my other thing entertainment and that also ties in with the parks doesn't it as well Thanks for four more great questions. If you've got some more questions, I've got a massive list already what I will go through. But if you've got some really, really good ones, we are only picking the best ones, of course. We don't have all the time in the world to read out all the questions. Um, but keep sending them in. Four more great questions there. Um, send them in at ThemeParkWW on Twitter. Comment below here. You can also... Um, send them in on Facebook. Private message. Just search Theme Park Worldwide in your search bar. Bam. Absolutely fantastic. But now I'm really glad you're enjoying the show this year and these brand new sections. Ask me anything. So yes, it's time for Merch Paradise. And before we have a look at some of your Merch Paradise, let's have a little look at something here from the world of theme parks. Boop! There we go. It might look like a normal mug. It's not a normal mug. It's actually from the Alton Towers Air Force. Now, this is quite a few years old. They've not sold these for years. Uh, more right when Air opened, actually. But yeah, Alton Towers Air Force. Really, really good mug there. It is only printed on the one side, though. The back's blank. Oh, they don't do that with the mugs now. They like producing, you know, the nice 3D mugs which you get. Um, but there you go. Yeah, 2001 that was produced, it says on the bottom. So it was actually built before Air. There you go. Cracking. Um, but yeah, so a little look at your merch paradise then. 
First one there is from Adam Delag, and that is an Air Ace t-shirt and some on-ride photos there as well from Drayton Manor. Uh, love Air Race, really good ride. I'm looking forward to seeing how the Gerstar Sky Force compares to the Zamperla Air Race this year, of course, down at Blackpool. So we'll see with that one. Next is Natty Panting, pitcher, and uh, there we go, Diagon Alley pin badge. Oh, look at that, I love Diagon Alley. Really good air at Universal Orlando Resort. If you've not seen the vlog on the channel, check it out, because it was a cracking trip. Uh, really, really good, really enjoyed it. Dean Davis has got a brilliant selection of merchandise from the Smiler at Alton Towers. Really, really good stuff there. We'll have a mini world of theme park soon. You got David Stratton with a Walt Disney World monorail magnet. Oh, I love that. I absolutely love the Walt Disney World monorail. In fact, while we're talking about it, here's my little model of the, <laughs> of the Walt Disney World monorail trains. Look at that. Yeah, this is actually the box it came in. I've kept it and I've cut round it. I've cut round, obviously, you've got the Contemporary Hotel, the hat what's no longer in the studios, and obviously the signature Tree of Life from Animal Kingdom and Spaceship Earth from Epcot. Um, but yeah, really, really good those. If you've got any uh, merch, make sure you do send it in to us here on the show. It would be really, really good if you do. Like I say, we're picking the best ones. We get so many sent in. Um, so make sure you pick, save some really good photos of what merchandise you've got. And there's a good chance it will be here on YouTube, on the show, on Theme Park Worldwide. Anyway, that's it for the second episode of the series. Hope you're enjoying it so far. Next week, we'll have a brand new section called TPW Special Guest, where someone will be here at the World of Theme Parks with me, being interviewed with me for you on the channel. You're going to absolutely love it. It's going to be great. And that's all for now. Make sure you check out our other videos. We've got vlogs online from Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Alton Towers, and also Westmind Safari Park to come this week, um, which is great. Of course, Blackpool and Alton are already on. Westmind is to come. It's going to be really, really good. Keeping you going now up until the main season kicks in in the middle of March. That's it for me, Sean Sandbrook. Thanks for watching Theme Park Worldwide, the show. And that means it's time to cue those credits. See you later, guys. Have an awesome week. Get out there, ride some coasters.